Saturday and I'm at home. Um, we got up extremely early this morning. Our photo shoot started at half past seven and this place was covered in fog. You could hardly see where you were going. So it was damn cold. But we did it and I am so, so excited. So in this morning's photo shoot, we um, did the Let's Play sweater and we also took pictures, photos of the Little Miss Crossover cardigan. I am so happy with both those projects. I can't wait to release the patterns. The patterns will be released tomorrow. They will be on Ravelry by tomorrow at the latest. If I can get the photos still this afternoon, they will probably be available this afternoon because I can't wait to publish those two patterns. Um, the Little Miss Cross over cardigan came out very nice. And um, as I was doing the last few rows, our youngest daughter walked in and she was like, Mom, I really like this. Mom, I think this is for me, Mom. I really like this. So, yeah. So, um, in a way, I said to her, fine, you can have it, but then you're going to model it at the photo shoot. So she did. So you will see my youngest daughter in the photo shoot of the Little Miss Crossover cardigan, and she left with the cardigan, so it's gone. Um, I actually said to my husband last night, I really have to knit up a couple of sweaters for myself because I've got nothing left. The kids have walked off with all of them. Um, and I think I'm going to focus on that for a while because I really, really need some sweaters in my cupboard. It's damn cold at the moment where we live. Um, and for the international viewers, we don't really have central heating in our houses. Here and there you will find a house with underfloor heating, but it's, it's very scarce actually. It's, it's an upper class thing, which I can't afford. Um, so yeah, we, we go through winter with the occasional heater and whatever have you. So I've got a heater going. It was damn cold this morning. Oh my word. Being me, I went to the photo shoot armed with a bottle of sherry and a couple of shot glasses. <laughs> we all took a clean shot of sherry on our empty stomachs this morning just to keep the, the, the extremities functioning. Okay, so this week I got my Lantern Moon knitting pins. Finally. It is packaged in a beautiful silk um, bag and it's got quite a few um, of the needle sizes in. Uh, especially the small ones. It started off with uh, 2.5, 2.75, 3, 3.25, 3 3.5. Um, what am I saying now? Wait, wait, wait. Let's start again. Uh, 2.5, What did I do here? Did I mix my needles up? Oh, there's not a... Oh, no, man, I'm lying. I'm looking at the wrong number. Okay, let's start again. 3 and 3.25 and 3.5 and 4. A, oh, there's a 3.75 as well. 4 and 4.5, uh, 5, 5.5, five 6 and then it jumps to an 8. So I would like to at some stage get myself um, number 7 knitting pins specifically. Do you remember that Erin Carey's blanket that I knitted? It's quite a couple of years ago. It was these cabled strips that were joined together into a blanket. I want to make another one. And I want to do it with the same yarn that I used the previous time. I used Moya Caress, which is a textured cotton yarn. Um, in South Africa, a thick cotton thing can still work nicely. Um, during winter for a garment, but it makes a very nice blanket for the summer and I used a double strand and I knitted it on a seven millimeter and I actually want to do that again So at some stage I will order myself a seven millimeter as soon as I can find a way to get it into South Africa With somebody coming in because the import duties are just absolutely crazy. I'm not gonna do that Okay, so what is the lantern moon like? Let's first do that now you will remember that I was a devoted child Google because of the cables and I actually still am. The Lantern Moon cables, they are um, 
like Chagu, they, they, it's a steel cable encased in nylon, but it's slightly thinner than the Chagu cable. So it's not as good as Chagu, but it's miles better than Nitpro. So it's sitting somewhere in the middle, but I can survive this. I can work with this, and what's nice, the cable swivel. Um, I actually went after the hardwood needles. I really, really wanted the hardwood needles, but I don't like the Nitpro cables. If it wasn't for the cables, I would have bought the new Nitpro Ginger set. Um, but the cables, ugh, the cables. But if I can't find somebody that will bring me in some extra Lantern Moon stuff from America, then I will probably end up buying the odds and ends from Nitpro just to get the hardwood needles because the steel needles, for some obscure reason, I don't know why, it happens with my tulip, it happened with my tulip um, crochet hooks and it happened with the Chagu steel needles. I get this very painful blisters on my index fingers and if I say painful, I mean really painful, you can hardly touch it. It's like immensely sore. And if I work with a hardwood, none of that happens. So, yeah. So I'm very pleased with the, the um, Lantern Moon things. What I really like about it is their little tightening tool. It's not just a tip and it's a, it's a nice grip tightening tool. It's very nice. But what I don't have in here, and it actually surprised me, is they don't give you cable connectors. So to fit a garment while you're busy knitting it was a little bit difficult. I had to make use of my knitting barber cords to fit it. But I'm happy. I'm happy with it. It works well. Um, and I'm enjoying it. I couldn't wait to use it, obviously. I mean, no self-control here whatsoever. A while ago, I showed you, I think I did. This is um, cotton Erin from Colorspun, you can see that it's it's quite a thick yarn and this is Kit Silk from Colorspun which is a very thin yarn and I've paired these two and I'm knitting with it I, uh, I will post a photo for you but the texture, look how beautiful the colors mix the, the blotchiness of the Kit Silk coming out and if you feel the texture of this, it is beyond luxurious. I can't remember when, yeah, I can. Uh, I think the last time I knitted with thick yarn, a sweater was in 29, yeah, 2009. I knitted um, with chunky yarn and I think I used a five millimeter needle then was long ago this is so thick that i'm on a six millimeter needle but i am enjoying it so much i actually think that i'm gonna do a couple of sweater designs in heavyweight yarn really i am um it's trending at the moment have you seen the catwalk photos it's these massively fat jerseys with fat collars and heavy yarn so it's trending at the moment and I'm enjoying this so bloody much so I'm definitely this is gonna be um, I'll put a photo on for you I think that will be easier I've got a photo over my my dress form but this should give you an idea um, let's do it like that Oh, it's a bit difficult because the collar is going to be huge. It's a fold over collar. It's going to have short sleeves. The sleeves are not done yet. They're still on scrap yarn. And then I want to make it as long as I can. So, but because it's such heavyweight yarn, I'm going through the balls like crazy. So what I thought of doing is, today I'm going to do the sleeves first. And I'm just going to make short sleeves. I want to wear this over um, a polo neck, a black polo neck jersey. So it's going to have short sleeves. And I want to make it as long as I have yarn. So that I can wear it over leggings. So I hope I'm going to at least get my ass covered. with. But I think I should. I think I'll have enough yarn. I still have 10 balls left. So I'll see. But I'm going to do the sleeves first. And then I'll do the rest. Now, this pattern is an urgent one. Uh, for those in South Africa, in the Gauteng region or whatever, this is color spun 
uh, cotton iron and color spun kit silk and on the 2nd of July I'm going to wear this to the color spun studio we're gonna have a social in the studio and if you attend and if you buy this yarn for this project you will get the pattern for free but you have to be there that day yeah we're gonna have a nice social in the color spun studio let me tell you something that studio is to die for you get lost in there uh, I, I actually, as much as I'm looking forward to the social, I dread going because I know I'm going to spend a lot of money again. But we'll make it up with patterns. Yeah. What is amazing to me, and, and I don't think I will be able to show it to you on the video. I don't think you will be able to see that at all. But if I look at it like this, the halo created by this thin strand of of mohair is just amazing it's this I can't believe it it's this fluffy layer that's sitting there with a the kit sock and it it just gives a total different feeling to this cotton it softens it up and it's so thick and luxurious I'm just in love with this I can't put it down so today I'm going to sit and I'm gonna knit the sleeves and as soon as I'm finished I'm gonna do the rest of it because ugh, I can't wait so yeah this this pattern is gonna come out early in July but tomorrow tomorrow the let's play sweater and the little miss crossover cardigan so it's one knit one crochet pattern will be available and obviously for the paid patrons on patreon there will be a discount code where you can um, actually get the patterns for free both of them for for the three dollars that you've paid for the month you're getting six dollars no, it's going to be more than that. Um, they're both going to be $5. So you're going to get $10 worth of patterns for the $3 that you've paid me for the month. Yes. Okay. I'm still working on the log cabin cow. And I'm enjoying it. I really am. I just stopped to knit a little bit. I couldn't help it. I had to knit. <laughs> okay, so the blanket is growing. It's looking nice. Ta-da-da-da. The testers are busy and um, I'm going to work on that constantly throughout the days and then knit in the evenings because the knitting is my sanity. Now speaking of knitting versus crochet, can you remember I said I'm going to do a hat trick in crochet? I'm going to frog it, it doesn't work. The crochet fabric that, you know when you, cre you create a fabric when you knit or crochet it just doesn't have the same give that the knitting has it doesn't work I've tried it with many stitches it doesn't work so chuck that out I'm not going to do it and that is it now you know and, and I don't mean to offend anybody. I hope anybody doesn't get upset with me. This is just my opinion, okay? There's certain things that crochet work for explendedly well. Oh, that's an interesting word. Explendedly. I just created a new word. Exceptionally well. Let's go with that one. Crochet to me is fantastic for things like blankets and other decor items maybe if you want to crochet a curtain i've done that um, carpets cushions things like that crochet all the way i do not like crochet for garments i realized that this week i really don't first of all i don't like that dc look i i will not crochet a garment in in double crochets American terms trebles if you do UK I can't stand it it doesn't look nice to me the other thing about it is it's it's quite thick and heavy for a garment because of how crochet stitches are formed and I don't like it I don't like the feel of it I don't like to do it I don't like the look of it I try to conceal the crochet as far as I can that's why if you look at the cedar forest sweater you've got to really look and see is this knitted or is this crocheted um, the little miss crossover I didn't a cross stitch and it's sort of okay but to me I prefer knitted 
garments. I really do. There's so much more that you can do in knitting with garments than what you can do in crochet. Um, it's so much easier. And it's a third less yarn usage if you knit. And I know if you go and speak to people who do both crafts, they will tell you the same thing. They will prefer to knit a garment, but they will prefer to crochet a blanket. And I feel the same. I really do. The exception um, on the blanket is I will do another cable blanket, but it will be again be in strips. I don't want to knit an entire blanket in one piece ever again. I don't like it. It's just it's uncomfortable because you're sitting with all the stitches on a wire it's just no 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 I'm not gonna do that again okay so um, what is in my pipeline now obviously my pipeline changes week by week by week it just happens I've got um, merino double knit in my stash that I bought for a design and um, after this little kit silk thing happened this week. I ordered more of this in grey to match with that double knit yarn because I want to make a few fat sweaters. Fat ones. It's going to be nice and warm. So with that sweater, I'm thinking of doing <coughs> this square neck. It's not really square. It's a rectangle actually with a fat collar and the collar folds over at the back and then here in the front it folds over each other. That is what I want to do with that fat grey yarn that I've got. And um, that's about the only thing that I've got in my head so far is, is the collar. Uh, it's going to be a raglan again because it's just easier with that type of collar to do a raglan. I haven't thought of any other detail. There will be a bit of detail. Um, I think it might be a little bit of a cable detail. I'm not sure. I'm still thinking about it. I'll get there. But first I'm going to finish this purple one. Okay, so now let me tell you something else. I used to have a block called Orange Mary, but I can her a long time ago. Got upset one day with somebody that moaned at me for something that I typed and I deleted the entire block in a freaking fairy. And I regretted it afterwards. When, when I deal with issues in life, whatever, something happens. could be anything. I overthink it. I mull it around in my head for days on end. I always say I'm chewing a toffee. It's like chewing a toffee. And I found that one way of settling it in my mind is to write about it. I have difficulty... Um, Telling somebody face to face what I'm feeling, what I'm going through, what's bothering me. I'm, I'm extremely introverted in that sense. I, I can't easily share my feelings talking to somebody, but I can write it down. And writing it down is also a safer way for me to share it because I can read it and change a few things and make sure that I don't offend people. Whatever. And then once I've written about whatever this is that has been bugging me, it's as if there's a release in my head. I can let it go. And I missed my blog. I really do. But I don't want to start another blog. So I decided, you know, the best conversations between crafty friends happen when we sit together and we craft. Me and my bestie can sit next to each other for a whole morning and we can have very deep conversations. Um, because my hands are working and I'm looking at this, I'm not looking at her, I can sort of open up a little bit and share the feelings. But all the Yarni friends are like that. When we social together, when we sit and craft together, we can really have deep, meaningful conversations. And it's, it's part of the therapeutic thing of knitting and crochet. And put that together with me missing my block, I decided I'm going to do a test pattern and it's going to be this purple thing. I'm calling it Let's Talk Purple. That's the name of the pattern. It's a Let's Talk pattern. So what I'm going to do is pretend that you're sitting with me while you're knitting my pattern. And I'm going to have these 
pieces of writing in between the pattern pieces of whatever is in my mind that I'll share with you. And I want to give it a try with Let's Play and see what the, ugh, let's, let's talk purple and see what the feedback is like. If the people like it, I will continue to do that because it will help me to release things that is in my head. It will um, possibly help the person that's reading it that might be struggling with the same thing. Um, and if you don't like it, you just skip over it and you follow the pattern because there will be a clear distinction in fonts. So that is what this is about. And um, I want to launch this pattern on the 2nd of July. Okay, my daughter is coming to visit South Africa in four sleeps. Hey, four sleeps. Four sleeps. Then my daughter and her husband and her little girl is in South Africa for a couple of weeks. I cannot wait to see my girl. I really cannot wait. So I don't know how much I will be able to crochet once she's here and how much I will be able to knit. So I'm going to really try to finish this Let's Talk Purple before she comes. I'm going to try to finish it tomorrow, today, tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, somewhere there. And then um, the lock cabin curl can just carry on slowly. It doesn't matter if it takes down the... Uh, I wanted to launch it in September, but if it slides out with the month of October, so be it. My girl is only here for a couple of weeks, so I might be a little bit not that busy on the yarn front. I can't wait. She's coming. I think that's about all the news I have. Oh, um, you remember that four fat balls of yarn that I showed you last week? I haven't got them with me now. They're over there somewhere. I'm going to do a tutorial for Patreon for um, knitting in the round and what I want to cover in this series of, it's going to be a couple of tutorials, is the crochet cast on. Why I like the crochet cast on so much. How to join um, for knitting in the round when you do the crochet cast on and it's a perfect join. You do not see it. And then um, spiral knitting with more than one color um, and then the end result of all these tutorials will be a pattern for a beanie because I'm gonna illustrate the techniques with that fat yarn and I'm gonna make myself this fat beanie so you can look forward to that the patrons now, if you don't know what patreon is about I will publish my link to my patreon platform it's a platform where people can support artists with a monthly contribution. In my case, there's many tiers there, but most of them, all of them actually, except the one, I've stopped. There's just one tier that you can join now, which is the um, Living the Slow Life tier. And it will cost you $3 in a month. And I share tutorial stuff there that's not available to non-patrons. And when I release patterns, I give the code for free so that for the $3 in a month that you're supporting me with, you can at least get free patterns as well. It just helps me to have a steady income every month. It helps me to keep doing what I do best, and that is design. Great. Um, so you can look forward to some photos this week of Let's Talk Purple. You can look forward to two patterns that will be released at two, the latest tomorrow, which is the crocheted Little Miss Crossover Cardigan and the Knitted Let's Play Sweater. Those are coming out tomorrow. And that's all from me. Now I'm going to make a fat brunch because it's slow Saturday. I'm going to make a nice, nice fat brunch. Um, I think I'm going to fry some halloumi and a patty and avocado and a poached egg, something like that. And then I'm going to sit and knit. I'm going to park myself in front of the TV and put it on the sports channel and see what's up there. And I'm going to knit. I'm going to knit. I'm going to sit and play with Let's Purple because I am so excited about it. Okay. There are still, I think two or three places available at the studio social for Colorspun. If you want to join us on the 2nd of July, um, contact Colorspun and um, book your place. It's free of charge. 
we're just going to have a nice social and if you want to pick out yarn there for some of my patterns I will help you with that help choose colors choose different fibers and whatever and we're just going to have a great time okay I'll see you next week on slow Saturday have a blessed week and craft craft away <laughs>